Look, you might be setting goals to work on improving your life. You might be journaling or starting to get fit, or you might be actually trying to deliberately think about the kind of life you want to create. But there's often a blind spot in your efforts that's really sabotaging your ability to truly change your life. Now in this video, I want to share what that is in regard to your morning and the seven things I stopped doing in the morning that dramatically changed my life in a very short period of time. Hey guys, Alex Hine, author of the book Master the Day. Now the first link in the description is for a free goal setting worksheet to help you plan out having your most incredible year of your life ever. So if you download that, the first link in the description, you'll also get an email every few days on how to use goal setting to totally reinvent your life. The first thing to stop doing in the morning is using Wi-Fi or the internet. So I discovered a little trick as I was going through a period of insomnia in my life where at night I would unplug the Wi-Fi, unplug all my electronics, and in the morning, when I wanted to use my phone, the Wi-Fi wasn't on. And so I just put all my apps to be working on Wi-Fi only, and so I was forced to really not use my phone by making it just a little bit more difficult. Now, when it takes 10 to 15 minutes to boot up in the morning and you plug it in again, that gives you a 10 to 15 minute window to do something else. The second thing to stop doing in the morning is using your phone in the first 30 minutes. So picture this, you're not flipping through Instagram, you're not going through email, you're not texting your friends back. For the first 30 minutes, no electronics means that you're forced to focus on something else. Now maybe that means you do your morning routine faster, or maybe it gives you a window to focus on your personal growth and focus on your goals and going forward. The third thing to stop doing in the morning is watching TV or specifically going through the news. So you imagine the difference where you go through one morning and you talk to a friend on the phone and you're both really happy, excited for something going on that day. And compare that to the reality where you turn on the TV or you bust out the news and it's the world is ending, somebody's gonna get nuked, there's some great conspiracy, there's some scandal. Think about how you're priming your day differently with those two events or if you're just reading a self-growth book. The fourth thing to stop doing in the morning is eating a crappy breakfast of just carbs and sugar. So a lot of the grab-and-go breakfast we get, whether it's cereal or whether it's going to Starbucks and getting a pastry, which is just carbs and sugar, is a way to easily start the day off in a way that's not aligned with your goals of feeling well and performing and maybe even looking good. So starting that differently with something that's just more aligned with what you want to do, whether it is grabbing fruit, making a quick egg on a piece of toast, or having something else that's an easier, quick option. The fifth thing to stop doing in the morning is getting up at the last minute, because what that means is that you're gonna be reactive. If I have 30 minutes to wake up and get ready and prep for the day and then go have my commute to wherever I'm going, that means there's no time for me to even sit and just calibrate and think about my day, think about how I wanna start it deliberately, think about my goals and the process I wanna actually create. It means I'm getting up and I get a shower, grab my food or whatever I'm doing and just go. There's no thought, it starts rushed, it starts messy, and it's a lot harder to focus on a day like that versus a day where you have a little bit more of a buffer to actually just be calm and be settled. The sixth thing to stop doing in the morning is not having at least five minutes for just silence and self-direction. I shot this video on being versus doing and it really was amazing where for just a week I just put a five to ten minute window in the morning where all I did was nothing. I poured tea, I sat and looked out my window, and I allowed myself to just be calm and think about anything I wanted. And for me, it often drifted to the kind of life I wanted to create. And just spending the five to 10 minutes allowed me to think going forward what I really wanted to build today and how I wanted to show up differently from the other days of my life. And I found that when I did that, I had a much, much better day and therefore a much, much better life. The seventh thing to stop doing is winging it in the morning. If you get up and you're just like, all right, what do I do? Shit, shower, and shave, and then go. That leads to a very haphazard kind of way of living your life, as opposed to having a structured morning. It sounds corny, but I literally have down what my morning routine is on my phone. So I know when I get up and my Wi-Fi is still unplugged and my phone's still on airplane mode, I've got a 20-minute thing that I go through that is related to the state I want to get into, related to reviewing my goals, and related to 
all the aspects of my life that I want to live differently today. And only then do I truly start my day. So nothing is by chance, nothing's by accident. You're actually creating the outcomes you want and you're not leaving it up to God or just to blind luck, which is usually not in your favor anyway. So I hope these seven rituals help you guys. It's worth just trying it for seven days and you tell me the results you get from doing a dramatic shift for a week. And of course, if you want help doing that, the free goal setting worksheet, the first link in the description is a way to help you plan out your perfect day to plan out your perfect year. And when you sign up there below, you'll also get an email every couple days on the exact process I've used for goal setting to change my life. So once you check that out, you can check out my last related video on this exact topic right there and right there.